Red Bull have made quite a few strides in their performance and are now Mercedes' strongest championship rival. This also puts them under a lot of scrutiny, especially with every new upgrade they introduce and their compliance with F1's stringent rules. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton pointed out the new wing on the Red Bull car in Spain, and Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has now responded. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, are Red Bull using an illegal wing? Hamilton had pointed out the wing in question and how it has helped Red Bull to improve. The Red Bulls are very fast on the straights. They have a bendy wing on the back of their car. As a result, they have gained at least three tenths in speed. They will now be faster on the straights than us, and it will be difficult to keep them behind. Christian Horner responded by explaining how the wings are totally legal. I have seen the comments. The cars are scrutinized thoroughly, and there's pullback tests and all kinds of different tests it has to pass. The FIA are completely happy with the car, that it has passed all of those tests that are pretty stringent. He summed up his words by implying that Hamilton's thoughts may have originated elsewhere. So, I was surprised to see his comments on that, but it's something that Toto has mentioned to me previously. I doubt it was Lewis's opinion, so probably came from elsewhere. Fast feed Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto thinks that the criticism against them doesn't do honour to the team because it's a team performance. Former driver Sergei Sorotkin feels that development is where Red Bull still has something to learn. Lewis Hamilton never wants to be in the position that they were in in January in February last year with delayed contract negotiations. He further revealed that it ruined his whole winter and he's sure it wasn't helpful for Toto Wolff's winter either. He further pointed out that they still have 19 races to do, but it would be great to get something in place before the break. This way they could again be in that break and have a clear picture of the future. FIA race director Michael Massey has confirmed that the Spanish Grand Prix was the first time that they really started broadcasting the radio messages between the teams and race direction. He divulged that it actually came up during a consultation with the F1 committee last year. This was so that the viewers can hear what the communication is like between the pit wall and the teams, and that is something that they do very often. Honda's F1 technical director Toyoharu Tanabe feels that it's difficult to overtake from 8th place referring to Red Bull's Sergio Perez. He added that if they don't improve strategy and overall speed, they can't beat Mercedes. As such, Honda are going to do their best to make the power unit faster. Christian Horner accepts that they need Sergio Perez to provide strategic backup for Max Verstappen so that Mercedes don't have the strategic options they had in Spain. However, he is also convinced that it's coming together for Perez as he finds more confidence and time in the car. Should all radio communication during a race be available to hear to the public? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.